Hey Suncrest, my name is Mitch. I'm one of the pastors here. And let me tell you, I hope that dumb stuff Christians say has been as good for you as it's been for me, as challenging for you as it's been challenging for me. And this past week with the phrase, I'll pray about it, let me tell you a story. We have a friend going through a really rough time. She needed a place to live. And so there's a house a couple doors down from us that was for sale. And we were like, oh my gosh, go look at it. And then on your way out, stop by our driveway. We'd love to hear about it, talk and reconnect about life. And so they did. And she loved the house and we're talking and they're getting texts from the real estate agent from the person who owns the house saying, hey, I'm getting offers in. So if she's really interested, you're gonna have to do something. And I, of course, put my foot in my mouth and I said, man, I'll be praying about that. And what I meant was, okay, have a good night, everyone. But what happened that I wasn't ready for was everyone looked at me and was like, wow, that's a great idea. And we all bowed our heads and I didn't because I wasn't ready. And so one of the things that happened was I was like, oh no, I gotta pray. So I was like, okay, God, we know you open doors. So open the door to this house for our friend. Amen. Fast forward 12 hours. We get a text the next morning saying, hey, new neighbors. And this is the dumbest thing I think I've said in a long time. I literally, to my wife Jess, said, <laughs> I'm like, I'm just baffled by how stupid this is. Wow, she must have wrote a great offer. <laughs> Can we just take a moment? That's so dumb. I literally, 12 hours before that said, God opened the door to this house. And he did. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you put your foot in your mouth or you speak before your brain can catch up. Or maybe you're like me where you'll pray to God, but you're really just trying to like be nice. Maybe you're like me and you don't actually expect God to answer. And when he does, you're not paying attention enough. This past weekend, Greg gave us a distinct challenge to try to not just say the phrase, I'll pray about it, but really to own the idea that I'm gonna actually pray. If I can do something to make a difference, I'm gonna do it. And ultimately, I'm going to commit to listen to what God is saying before I even say it. But maybe there's another thing that we all do that's really dumb. Maybe when we pray, we don't actually expect God to do anything. I'm going to challenge you today, as you're working through those three things that Greg gave us, to keep your eyes and ears and mind open for what God might be doing. And who knows, he might just open a door three doors down from you.